an interview with Tom Machielsa, interviewer Irv Joel, recorded March 25, 2003, during the 114th AES convention, Amsterdam. Well, um, perhaps I should mention that apart from uh, digital recording and digital t studio techniques, we also uh, still had, um, we started with even building our own microphones, I should mention. Uh, just after World War II, there were no microphones in the market, so, or very few and very expensive. So we built our own, and I think they were rather like a Neumann U87 or something like that, as big as, as well, too. Um, then, um, when that was no longer necessary, let's say around 1960, we stopped that. We did um, research in the requirements for broadcast control rooms. Um, and at, in the 80s, uh, you saw uh, the advent of all these new insights like Leedy, the life and dead end rooms, and that made several people uh, a millionaire. In, in Holland, of course, we have a national broadcast system. Yes. So radio is, is, is fairly large. Uh, there's a difference in, in, in the US. I guess uh, every station has its uh, antenna mast on the roof. Uh, here we have a system of 15 uh, antenna systems that are uh, dispersed yeah. over the over the country, and we have an, an, an infrastructure that de de delivers the signal in digital form to all these uh, transmitter sites, uh, and we have a, a, a large central studio complex. It's, it's not really the same, it's, it's quite different, of course.